Good morning to you on this Thursday morning. We return to 1 John chapter 3 today. And today I'm going to read from verse 18. Little children, let us not love with word or with tongue, but in deed and truth. We will know by this that we are of the truth and will assure our hearts before him in whatever our heart condemns us. For God is greater than our heart and he knows all things. Beloved, if our heart does not condemn us, we have confidence before God. And whatever we ask, we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. This is his commandment, that we believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he commanded us. The one who keeps his commandments abides in him, and he in him. We know by this that he abides in us by the Spirit whom he has given us. So the promise we have contained in these words is that whatever we ask, we receive from him because we keep his commandments and do the things that are pleasing in his sight. And then we are reminded that his commandment is that we love the Lord Jesus Christ and that we love one another. And you see, if we remain within the great commandment, and our lives are led by the Holy Spirit that he has given to us, then the things that we will ask of God will be things that honour him, things that help us to love him and to love one another. And these are the things that God willingly and pleasingly gives to us. Jesus told us that anything we ask in his name, God will give to us. Asking in his name does not simply mean tagging at the end of our prayer in the name of Jesus we pray. But asking in his name means that we align our will with God's will. We pray your will be done. So really when we pray, we come to God and we ask him, show me how to pray. Show me what I should be asking for. And then when we ask for that, then God willingly and pleasingly gives it to us. You see how it all works. It works that we need to be living in the spirit. We need to be led by the Holy Spirit. As I've said to you so many times, we do the wrong thing and that we have our plans, our desires, and we lift them up before God and we say, can you please do this? Instead, we should come to God and say, what is your plan? What is your desire for my life? And then when he shows us, then we ask that he gives us the, the ability and the spirit and the strength to be able to fulfill that plan, to do what he wants. And then we ask accordingly. And when we ask accordingly, when we ask according to his will, then he always does it. God is always faithful. And I love, did you notice in these verses also it was mentioned that God knows all things. He knows what's in our heart. He knows everything that's going on and he has everything under absolute control. So let's join together now in prayer. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we so thank you for a new day, a night's rest, a brand new day, a day in which we can again walk with you. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that your spirit abides in the hearts of all those who believe. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are our advocate. You are our guide, our teacher. You walk alongside us. We love you and bless you. We ask that you would help us to walk in your way today. Help us to pray according to your will. Show us what your will for our life is, what your plan is, and then help us to ask accordingly so that we receive that from you, that we may be the best version of ourselves that we can possibly be today, tomorrow, and always. Lord, we let go of everything that we are trying to control in our lives and we simply trust in you. We thank you that you love us. We thank you, Lord. We bless you and praise you. We ask, Lord, that you would pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and you refresh us, renew us. We pray for our government. We pray for all who are in authority. We pray that you would give them wisdom, that you would give them understanding, help them to do that which is right. Cleanse our government of all evil forces and people who are not doing the right thing. Lord, we pray for honesty. We pray, Lord, that you would help us to be faithful in all of our dealings wherever we go. May the words of our mouth, the meditation of our hearts be acceptable and pleasing in your sight. Lord, we pray for the sick. We pray for the dying and all who are in need. We lift up before you widows and orphans, those who are feeling lonely that you would just wrap your arms around them today. We pray for a soul that doesn't know you yet. We ask that this will be the day that they open their hearts to you, that they join this wonderful family, your family. Lord, have mercy. We pray for our clinicians, our doctors, nurses, and hospital workers. We pray for those who are in strife at the moment, Lord. 
We thank you that you meet all of our needs according to your riches and glory and that nothing happens to us outside of your knowledge. So we just trust in you and we ask now that you will take us by the hand and lead us and hear us as we join together in praying our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.